so when I did the video going over my uh, creation of this this build with a uh, shot creating as the primary and three point as a secondary, a lot of a lot of people were asking me, "What are the attributes? What are the attributes?" Uh, I need to know. I need to know. But I mean, I I said this long ago that 2K should have had this in the beginning. But after that Chris move uh, deal with the stream and stuff, they say they're gonna have it on there when the game comes out. Hence the reason why I said let this prelude kind of be what it is and that should just be an experiment so you can kind of experiment with a build that you want but don't take it really serious and don't put any please don't put any vc in it because you already gotta know that the game is gonna have a day one patch it's, it's, it's inevitable so just going back i'll show you what mine was after i did the stuff um I'll let you check this stuff out you can kind of like go over it with me while i'm talking or you can kind of look at it while as i'm talking because i don't really want to harp too much on it because it'll be on the screen for you to see it um you see what my standing layup is driving layup that's pretty you know that's pretty average my dunks is at a 72 with this build that i have that's kind of average it'll go up more as you can see uh mid-range now this one hurts you see what my open shot mid-range is Yo, at the 85 a 79 that is nuts that is insane that is total that is just man that is some crazy shit right there man and look at what the three point is three point is a secondary and it's only at a 72 a 72 that's nuts but i know what i know the mistake that i made and i know many of you probably made the exact same mistake what my thing was, when I started making this build, I made the arms a little bit longer instead of leaving it neutral because I just kind of wanted to call 2K's bluff. Like, let's see, like, they, like, they say if you extend the arms, it's gonna be, uh, you know, yeah, it's gonna impact and stuff like that. I just wanted to see like, okay, is it really or are they just talking? Cause they do that a lot. But it looked like it's pretty legit this time around. Like looking at the ball handling, that's another thing that impacts is the longer your arms are, the harder it is, you know what I'm saying, for your ball handling. So it just seems like they want you to have the either the neutral or shorter arms if you want to do stuff. I, I don't know what that is, but <laughs> this, we're going to look at it because I'm going to cut to uh, what my, my arm length was for this build. And keep in mind, I originally made them 6'9", but I dropped them down to 6'8". So this is all basing off of a six foot eight, 200 and I want to say 16 pound small forward, primary shot creating, secondary three point shooting. So it's not going to be the same for everybody else if your height and your weight and stuff like that, and your arm length is different. So this is just me testing out the weight. Now, I don't like to be too heavy, but I don't like to be too light either because I don't want to get pushed around, but I don't want to be slow neither. Now I'm gonna cut right to the part, which is like the most important part, which which it seems like. Now this is what I originally went with because I wanted to see like, okay, if I stretch these arms out a little bit, is it really gonna impact that much? Or is 2K just running their miles like they always do? But like I said earlier, man, it looks like they were legit with this because you seen my mid range was only at a 79 open mid range. Yo, that was nuts. So this is one, this is what I started to do is just leave it at neutral and see what it was. That way I could have gazed a little bit better to see that, okay, can I make it, make them longer or should I make them a little shorter and stuff like that? So yeah, that's, this is taking it down a little bit more. The 86.3, uh, as you can see my off dribble, my open shot. Now my contested goes down a little bit. It impacts a little bit. My open shot three is better. Now this is taking it down one more the 85.3 now you see my open shot mid-range open shot three is you know is a lot better but it's taking a hit on defense and my contested mid-range so yeah and as well as my contested shot three so you got to keep that in mind now this is this is taking it down even further like now you almost in alligator arm territory right here with the 84.4 you see how how much better your openness your open shots are as well as you see what a ball control is as well you see how much better that stuff is but your contested shots which shot creating is your primary build which is what your bread and butter is you know that kind of hurts now look at the harrison barnes 
alligator arms right here yo this is is it's getting crazy so if you want to do that it's gonna be some people that does it that does just that because they want to shoot and they just want to shoot and they don't care about nothing else uh i don't recommend it but if you do it i can kind of see why you would do it because you don't really know but i just once again i can't harp this enough wait until the full game comes out yo and see if they implement letting you know exactly where where the numbers will be before you do this and i said this before don't put i kept saying don't put vc into the game because you're gonna end up stuck with something that you really don't like and you really don't want and stuff like this ends up happening and somebody like me is like i told you you know but i don't i don't profess to be the smartest and the most you know i know everything i know this i know this listen to me i'm y'all never hear me say that stuff i'm just telling you what i recommend stick with the neutral if you're not sure me personally i'm probably going to do this one right here just go down one as you can see it go it doesn't impact that much on my on my defense and it'll really impact that much with my contested mid-range but it does help a little bit on my open shot three and my open shot mid-range and my off drip my off the dribble stuff and if you really you really want to risk it for a biscuit this is probably the one to do uh real talk this is probably the one to do if you're not really that concerned with your defense or you that confident in your defense that is not going to impact you that much um i'm not gonna lie i bought this one several times thinking like when the game actually full game actually comes out this may be the way i go so i'm gonna end up doing the whole prelude stuff all over again and all of that i'll probably have a face scan and all that by the end so this this is just appearing like this is the way to go Look, before I go, though, I, I really just need to clarify on, you know, people that's going to say, oh, well, uh, I need I need these long arms. Look, if you're not a defender, if you're not a lockdown defender, or if you don't have rebounding in your build, then you it just you just look at it here. You, it don't really make any sense to to even make that 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 sacrifice. It just doesn't. You're not grabbing rebounds and you're not guarding somebody like me playing with this build. It don't really make no sense to do it. So I just said that to say this, man don't don't do that that part i will say if you're not making a defensive build or rebounding build i wouldn't chance it um i'm probably gonna stick with the 86.3 one but to each his own man hopefully this stuff wasn't you know helpful a little bit to y'all man new new people man be sure to subscribe returning subs y'all know what it is like the video share the video i'm flock and i'm out y'all peace